Hello everyone, this is Akash and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this very effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to create a folder with the name fill screen. And in this folder, I'm going to create a HTML file with the name index. Then after I'm going to create another folder with the name CSS and here I'm going to create a style.css Okay, so the text editor here I'm going to use is Atom and it is a free text editor so if you want to download it, I'll give a download link in the description down below. So you can go there and uh, download this editor if you want. So now let's open our folder that we created. So let's go to desktop. Okay, so this is uh, the folder that we created and this is our HTML file. Okay, so now here we have all our basic tags that we want to get started and fill screen then going to link my CSS file let's create a section here And now in this section, as you can see here, we want a button in the middle which says click me. So I'm going to create a button and I'm going to set an ID here uh, that is BTN and a class with DTN then I'm going to write click me okay and here we want another button that is this which says back so let's create another button and let's give this the ID btn2 and class also button2 now we're going to uh, write here back so here we have two buttons created now uh, for the background that is this blue colored background i want a div tag right the class here as background so it's a simple div tag we are not going to write anything uh, here in between these div tags so and i'm also going to give uh, id background okay now let's uh, go on to the css part okay so for CSS now uh, we are going to start with the body tag so here first of all we're going to set the padding to 0 then margin to 0 as well and then here we are going to set the font family uh, so I'm going to set the font from the mono Okay So now uh, For the first button we are going to set some CSS styling so here I'm going to write 
dot btn and first of all we are going to set the position property so position absolute then left 0 right 0 then the width uh, I'm going to set to 35 VH then margin to 45 VH auto then padding to 8 pixels background color then the text color then font size border none z index 1 background position 50 percent 50 percent so now let's run this okay so this is what it looks like and CSS is not yet applied okay so the CSS is applied now so this is the first button then let's create this second button also so we are going to have the same things here because we want this second button to be at the exact same place where this first button is so I'm going to copy this all and going to just do btn2 and let's refresh it so here we have this button so now we will need to hide this button so that we can see the first button and when we click on that button this button should be shown otherwise it should not have been shown okay so now after this we are going to give the styling of this uh, div element so then dot background and I want the height here to be 100 VH then after I want the background image background image and here I'm going to specify the color and then after the background position so I'm going to have the position 50% 50% and the background repeat we don't want the background to repeat so no repeat then after it's background size so 0% and then transition so we want the transition for the background size so background size then I'm going to keep it 0.7 seconds and then the last thing is we have to uh, after clicking the button we want the background to be 100% so this property is uh, going to be replaced with the background size of 100% property so we are going to have another class named animate and here the background size should be 100% 
now let's go to the javascript part okay so now we have to create the script tag to write the javascript so before that we have to create a function so here i'm going to write on click and i'm going to name this my function and for the second button also on click and we are just going to uh, back the changes that this function does so i'm just going to write back my function okay so now function my function and i'm going to write document get by and i want the first element so btn and once it's clicked i want to hide that button so style dot visibility so style dot visibility is equal to hidden then in here uh, i'm going to take this background id and we have to uh, apply this class animate here on this div element so i'm going to add this uh, using class list dot add animate then after what i have to do is i'm going to make the second button that is the back button here visible so again document dot get element by id and the second button is btn2 and i'm going to make the visibility as visible and yeah we have to first hide this button as you can see here it's not hidden so visibility hidden and visibility is hidden now as you can see it's the first button is working but the second is not so now let's write the javascript for the second button also so function back my function and we are going to just undo whatever this function does so we have uh, hidden the first button so now we are going to hide uh, we are going to make the first button visible and the second button hidden so the first button we are going to make it visible and then we are going to remove this uh, animate class so remove then after we are going to make this uh, button hidden that's it now let's check this so okay so as you can see it's working so this is how you can create this uh, fill screen animation using html css and javascript so that's it for this video if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these videos then uh, you can subscribe to this channel 
and hit the bell icon also so that you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video on this channel. So I'm Akash and I'll see you in the next one.